identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square a plus b into bracket a minus b into bracket is equal to a square minus b square hello students i hope you have already learned expressions now let us learn identities dear students you may have learned the expansion of algebraic expression the product of two algebraic expression is called an expansion suppose a plus b and x plus y are the two expressions how will you multiply both with each other first term of first bracket into first term of second bracket plus first term of first bracket into second term of second bracket plus second term of first bracket into first term of second bracket plus second term of first bracket into second term of second bracket now we have ax plus ay plus bx plus by this is the expansion of a plus b into x plus y now students let us learn some expansion of two expression commonly known as identities the square of the sum of two terms let a and b are the two terms their sum is a plus b now square of a plus b is a plus b whole square a plus b whole square means a plus b into a plus b multiply the first term of first bracket with the terms of second bracket and then multiply second term of first bracket with the terms of second bracket we get a square plus ab plus ab plus b square a square plus 2ab plus b square is a expansion of a plus b whole square therefore for this particular formula we can write as first term plus second term whole square is equal to square of first term plus 2 into first term into second term plus square of second term such expansion of two expressions in which for any value of a and b the left hand side remains equal to the right hand side is called identity now consider the expansion of a minus b whole square we know that a minus b whole square is equal to a minus b into a minus b multiply the first term of first bracket with the terms of second bracket and then second term of first bracket with the terms of second bracket we get a square minus ab minus ab plus b square therefore the expansion of a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square similarly if we expand a plus b into a minus b we get the expansion of expression a plus b and a minus b is a square minus b square dear students hope you understood this three identities now let us see some examples based on these identities now students what will be the expansion of 3p plus q whole square now this is the example of the square of the sum of two terms therefore compare bracket with the left hand side bracket of identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square we can see that first term is 3p instead of a and second term is q instead of b just write 3p at the place of a and q at the place of b we have 3p plus q whole square is equal to 3p whole square plus 2 into 3p into q plus q square 3p whole square is 9p square and 2 into 3p into q is equal to 
six p q. Therefore, the expansion of three p plus q whole square is three p whole square plus six p q plus q square. What will be the expansion of two n minus five whole square? If we compare the given bracket with three identities, we can see that the given bracket is similar to the left hand side of identity. A minus B whole square is equal to A square minus two A B plus B square. Therefore, apply this identity for the given bracket and consider two n instead of A, and consider phi instead of B, and write the expansion. Two n minus phi whole square is equal to two n whole square minus two into two n into phi plus phi square. 2n whole square is 4n square, and 2 into 2n into 5 is equal to 20n. Therefore, students, we get 2n minus 5 whole square is equal to 4n square minus 20n plus 25. Expand 2p minus 7q into 2p plus 7q. Dear students. Now we have an identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square for this expansion. If we put two p for a and seven q for b, we can easily find the expansion. Two p whole square is four p square, and seven q whole square is forty nine q square. Therefore, expansion of two p minus seven q. Into two p plus seven q is four p square minus forty nine q square. Dear students, we have seen the use of identities in the expansion of expressions. Let us see use of identity of numbers. Suppose we have to perform multiplication of Forty-eight and fifty-two. We can perform this multiplication as shown. Let us simplify multiplication of forty-eight and fifty-two. We can write forty-eight as fifty minus two, and fifty-two as fifty plus two. Therefore, forty-eight into fifty-two can write as fifty minus two into fifty plus two. How these two brackets look like? Both look like as a minus b, a plus b. We know identity a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. Write fifty for a and two for b. We get fifty minus two into fifty plus two is equal to fifty square minus two square. Fifty square is Two thousand five hundred, and two square is four. Two thousand five hundred minus four is two thousand four hundred and ninety-six. Hence, forty-eight into fifty-two is two thousand four hundred and ninety-six. Dear students, in this way we have completed our lesson identity. Summary, dear students. In this lesson, we have studied three identities and examples of them. A minus B whole square is equal to A square minus two AB plus B square. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus two AB plus B square. Into bracket A plus B into another bracket A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. So. That is all about this lesson students maths is fun so keep learning